Hey guys, I have this soft glittery eyeliner look today, um, but I'm also going to be showing you some of my new Morphe brushes, so I'll be going in a little bit of depth with those. And I'm using something different. This is the Amazonian clay, it's like a mousse. Um, it's kind of like the Anastasia Dip Brow, but um, I've never tried it before, but I have this on my hands. So I'm just outlining my brow with this, and this is a uh, brush that comes with it. So I pretty much just outlined the bottom and the top of my brow, and now I'm using the spoolie end, and I'm kind of just blending the edges out um, so it's not as harsh um, where you see that really big, thick line. And on top of that, I'm putting on Gimme Brow by Benefit, and um, you can just fill in your eyebrows with the Amazonian um, clay mousse, but I like how this makes your like eyebrows look more natural. Um, so you could do either or, but I prefer this over filling them in full. And then I'm just carving um, my eyebrows out. And I do find that um, lining my eyebrows before I use the brow definer, or not the brow definer, the uh, gimme brow, I feel like it makes it a little bit less messy because I'm actually seeing where I'm putting it. But I still like to carve my eyebrows out. I think it makes them look so much more neat um, and they stand out more. And I just go under the brow first, do the same thing. I pretty much outline it and then I go above the brow. At first I use the tip to kind of get exactly where I want it and then I put the brush flat so it kind of just makes everything go smooth. And then I just blend everything out so there's no harsh edges even though I'm going over top of it with foundation and concealer. And then I'm just taking the same tart shape tape, that's what I used, and I'm just uh, concealing my eyes so it's a nice base. And I'm just using some banana powder with this fluffy brush and I'm just putting this all over my lip. And I'm taking, this is the Morphe MB23. This is a great transition brush. I highly recommend it. Um, it kind of just goes everywhere you want and I'm going in with Bone Fresco from the Anastasia palette and since this is a transition color I'm putting this in my crease but kind of above my crease um, and below. I'm putting the shadow pretty much everywhere at this point. And with the M433 by Morphe um, I'm going in with the Carly Bybel palette and it's like that mauve light purple color and I'm going to be concentrating this on my outer V and this brush is great for just keeping it in place it's not gonna really um, go very far it's kind of stay where you're putting your brush but still going to help blend a little bit if that makes any sense at all and then with the E22 it's kind of tapered at the end and I'm taking the darker mauve color in the Carly Bible palette and I'm putting this on top of the first or the second color I did but just a little bit less just making it a little bit darker this is a Morphe brush but this is in a set so it does not come individually but this is a goat hair flat brush and it's great for like these glittery colors this is also in the Carly Bible palette um, it's like this peachy um, highlighty color and I'm putting that right on my lid and I'm just wetting it a little bit with some water so it stands out and it's a little bit more um, like lumin luminous, luminous, luminescent, luminous. Um, and I love using goat hair brushes for these type of shadows because there's not much fallout and it grabs on it very well. Right, and then I'm just taking the E22 again and I'm just taking that darker color and I'm just um, making it a little bit darker since um, when we blended it out, it kind of, you know, faded. So I'm making it darker and kind of just making everything blend in together. And using Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D, I'm doing a wing. I start out like making the line at the uh, my eyelid. And I close my eye a little bit because I do have hooded um, eyelids that I close them um, to see where I want my, how thick my liner is is going to be so I don't want my whole eyelid when I close my eye is totally black if that makes sense <laughs> just extending the uh, wing 
and doing this like flicking motion really helps you get that um, tapered uh, wing. And with the heavy metal glitter, this is in Distortion by Urban Decay, I'm putting this right on top of the liner I just did. I love this color and I love the formula of this um, and just how it is um, because with the glitters they're loose and they get everywhere but with this it goes on so smooth and never comes off. I'm going to do the other eye, I'll be right back. Okay, so starting with the face, I'm using the professional matte. Um, like always, I'm putting this right on my T-zones, um, a little on my nose, and then I kind of just blend it out so it's not concentrated on that area as much. And with my new love, this is the M439. Um, it's such a dense brush. Um, especially with like these liquidy foundations, it's awesome for. I just put it right on top and then I just dart it on my face. I usually do one pump for half my face and you literally, the brush does everything for you. Um, I kind of just blot it. I keep blotting it everywhere until it looks like I have it everywhere because I feel like it just concentrates in one area if I don't do this. Um, so then I just start swirling it around and it literally just, there's no streaks, there's nothing. Like it gives such a flawless look it's awesome I highly 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 recommend it and this is another morphe brush but this is in the set one um, i absolutely love um, doing my concealer with this um, i don't know i feel especially with this um, concealer this is a tape shape that i'm not in love with but i'm trying to love um, since i haven't been setting it i've been liking it a little bit more because it does set itself which i've found out um, so without setting it, without putting any powder on, I have been liking it a little bit more. Um, but with the beauty blender, I still do not like blending it out. I don't. It, it makes it look like waterproofy. Like you can see. Like I don't know. It's weird. So I've been liking this. I kind of just tap it. I'm not actually swooshing it anywhere. I just keep blotting it pretty much. And a Real Techniques brush, I'm just going in with some powder and I'm setting my foundation with it. And this is the M527. I love this brush as well. It's such an awkward, weirded, um, it looks like a big eyeshadow brush, but I'm just using my Hula bronzer from Benefit. And it's such a great shape that it gets in the hollow of your cheeks, um, but also blends I don't know, it's awesome. I highly recommend this one too. This is another Morphe brush that is in the set. It's kind of like a go hair one where it's pretty coarse and I'm just using this for my forehead. Um, I find the other brush isn't that great since it's um, that tapered kind of shape that's not great for the forehead. I dropped my highlighter. I am so upset, I'm so sad. Um, anyways, I'm using another brush from the set. Um, I actually use a lot from the set. Um, I believe it's the professional set. It's like an 18 piece set. And it's just this fan brush, but it's so great. Um, some of the brushes, fan brushes, are too thin, too dense, too much. Um, but I find this one awesome. And I do wet my brush a little bit um, to get more of an extra shimmer shimmer. And the next brush I'm using is the M501. I originally got this to highlight my cheekbones, but I don't like this. Um, so I've just been using it to highlight my nose. And this brush is in the set as well. This is blush. I'm using the Milani Luminoso. I absolutely love this brush. It's dense, but it's not too dense. It gets right where you... I don't know. It's, it's awesome. Just go get the set. <laughs> And to highlight my inner eye and my uh, brow bone, I'm going in with the Carly Bye Bye palette with the first highlight. And I'm using my favorite, favorite, favorite brush. This is the E36. I wish I got more of these. This is like my top most recommended one. I use this on my inner corners, like I said, to highlight. And it makes it look wet with the Carly Bye Bye. Like I love that highlight. And it's not shimmer, it's more of like a wet look. And then with the M430, um, I'm just taking the shadows I used on my eyelid and I'm just doing the same thing to my bottom lash. I'm using bigger brushes first 
and then I slowly um, get a smaller brush for the darker color blue, that makes sense. So um, I go with lighter colors and then the darker colors and then I also use like the bigger brushes for the lighter colors and then smaller brushes for the darker colors. Um, Cause you want, um, it's like the transition, you want the transition shade, a darker shade, another darker shade. Um, I'm just using some other brushes from the set and I'm also using the E36 again on my bottom lash line. This is awesome to get right under there. With the M330 again, I'm just blending my lower lash line out. And with some black eyeliner, I am water in my waterline. I'm just putting this right in there. And with Blackout by Urban Decay, um, with the smaller, smallest brush, um, this is a BH Cosmetics brush, um, but it's so dense and thin. So anything that dense and thin you have, I am just putting this right next to my waterline um, to give that smoke out effect. And that's pretty much how you get a smoky effect is um, I'm not putting it um, over everything. I'm just putting it as close as I can to my lash line. And to set everything before mascara, I'm putting on the Urban Decay setting spray. And with the Roller Lash Mascara, I'm just getting as tight to my lash line as I can. And I kind of make my eyelashes do all the work, not so much my brush and the hand, my hand. Um, I kind of just let the brush go on my lash line and then I blink slowly, if that makes sense. I didn't put any mascara or any false lashes on, so that's why I'm kind of going <laughs> heavy with the mascara and I'm getting it all over myself. Um, but I kind of let it dry a little bit before I do a second coat so it has something to stick on to. And with lipstick, this is Park 5th Ave, I believe, by Tarte. Um, this is just a regular lipstick and it's pretty nude and it smells like peppermint and it's awesome. So this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, you could do a bold look with this. Um, you could do more glitter. You could pretty much do anything you really want with this. I hope you guys liked it and see you guys later. Bye!